Hi everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest episode of I Am Gaming podcast. This podcast follows video game industry, entrepreneurship and gaming nostalgia, but sees all of them as a part of a growing and expanding field and ecosystem onto its own. So if you're a gaming content producer or gaming content creator, uh, an indie game developer or game regular game developer, anyone who is doing something in the gaming industry or the expanded field of the gaming industry and trying to make money out of it somehow uh, or making money out of it, I think you're going to enjoy what I have to say or at least find the topic interesting and then after you watch the episode you can say, man, this is a, is a dumbass, I'll never listen to him again. Hopefully you won't do that and I'll be at least somewhat interesting and something you might check out in the future as well. And this episode we're, talk- we're talking about Reddit, or I'll be talking about Reddit, but before I get into that, I want to ask you to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description below. If you're a first time viewer, consider watching me again and subscribing. If you already watched my episodes and you think they're kind of okay or interesting, please consider supporting me with a single buck per month. That's what I'm looking for, one USD is all I need from you at this point. Of course, there are tears if you want to leave more. Holy hell, that would be amazing. But if you don't, that's cool as well. I'm just right now after that crucial proof of concept that somebody somewhere finds this interesting enough to pitch in a dollar. So if you have a buck to spare, I would really be happy if I saw the same buck on my Patreon page, so check it out in the link in the description below. Now, with all of that behind us, let's get into the actual topic of this episode. I uh, decided on it from a small Twitter poll I had on my Twitter account. You can find me. I'll leave a link in the description below. I can't. Um, it doesn't make any sense on English. It's uh, it's called film. Uh, the Danas, which is actually a, a Serbian or Serbo-Croatian or former Yugoslavian, uh, uh, a film for today. It doesn't matter how I came up with that handle. Uh, the link is down below, so if you want to follow me there, please do. Anyway, uh, we're talking about Reddit. So, you already know Reddit is super important. If you have any kind of content you want to promote and share and uh, um, give out to the world, you probably know or you might think you know something about Reddit. Reddit is basically a huge online forum. That's the easiest way to explain it. Uh, That is the primary purpose and focus of the whole website. It's a forum for a lot of people who never used old school forums like me in my case. I started using forums back in 2000 or 99, 98 when they were still based on email. So you actually read forums as a set of email messages you got in your um, email client. Back then we didn't have Gmail or any browser-based email clients. Everything went through external like uh, Outlook or I think it uh, only Outlook was active back then. And you got a lot of messages, a lot of emails about people like uh, uh, arguing about Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Uh, It was awesome. But uh, soon after regular online forums began cropping up and Reddit is actually the biggest one you ever saw. There are some equivalents, uh, local equivalents, in China there is a website I always forget, it's like Chinese Reddit, it functions in the exact same manner. And there are smaller niche uh, forums that pretty much do the same, for example Slashdot is a famous technology based uh, forum-ish kind of a website where usually people just uh, comment on particular pieces of news. However, in Reddit you can comment on anything because there are subreddits about everything and that's a crucial thing for anyone making content and who wants the same content to be seen and shared and enjoyed by others. Now, it doesn't... uh, I don't need to underline how big Reddit actually is. Its uh, tagline is that it's the front page of the internet. Now that might be a bit like too much, but it's not that far from the truth. It's among top of the most popular websites in the US and especially for the English speaking world, it's a huge deal. 
Uh, probably, I'm, and it's uh, it's difficult to say whether Reddit is social media or not. I guess it is kind of a social media, but not in the sense of having your profile page like you have on Twitter or Facebook, but it doesn't even matter. It's a forum. Uh, the important thing is that it is really useful. So you probably know stories about people who posted something and who basically went viral. A lot of stuff got huge amounts of exposure this way uh, from all different walks of life from content videos to pieces of news to whatever you can imagine uh, the system on which reddit is based is basically uh based basically the system on which it resides uses a system system that uses a system god damn i'm redundant reddit uses a principle of upvoting and downvoting content. So you as a user create posts or comments which are visible to everyone and other users then vote on them by giving you basically thum thumbs up or thumbs down or by arrow up or arrow down or whatever the visual cue is for a particular subreddit. With more upvotes you get more views, you become more prominent, more visible and this is super simple, uh, a super simple concept and that's the biggest thing that uh, distinguishes Reddit from an old school forum where you just have your basic uh, timeline and the only thing that distinguishes posts is the moment when they were posted. So the new posts, uh, new comments are further up, the older are further down and that's it. In Reddit the uh, curated content plays a huge role because people vote and this makes something less, uh, less or more visible. And that's the whole deal. Uh, believe it or not, that's a game changer for the old school forum. Let's call them 1.0 forum. And this is 2.0. Because now people can enjoy, watch and um, um, consume content that has already been labeled by somebody as good or bad. Because of that, it even has not only a huge um, uh, viewership base or huge user base, it has a huge engagement base as well. So if you, for example, have a post that goes viral, which has a link in it, you'll probably get a lot more clicks from it than if you had a Facebook post that had the same thing. Because um, the way people consume media is different on Reddit and it's more click friendly. So Reddit, in theory, if you could get a genie who, uh, <laughs> a social media genie that gives you wishes, and if you could get any viral piece of content on any media platform, a social media or popular media, Reddit would probably be a much better choice than, for example, a Twitter post or a Facebook post, Twitter tweet or a Facebook post, because um, the snowball effect on Reddit is much larger. People will continue to upvote something that they find interesting. For example, if you're into thousands of upvotes and a lot more people would click on it because uh, subjects are more well defined, they're better funneled. Unlike on Twitter, for example, where I can see a, uh, I can see a hip hop trending post, uh, a tweet uh, about trap which I don't care about particularly, and I can super ignore it. But on Reddit, chances are I'm going to see things that are trending, that are more to my liking. Uh, Twitter um, Twitter has the dynamic timeline, that's cool. It tries to kind of uh, provide you with the content you already like and enjoy. But in case of uh, Reddit, based on your um, on the red subreddits you're subscribed to, you will get content that's of the similar nature on your front page. So. At viral post on reddit will get you much uh, a higher level of engagement than for example one on twitter with a kind of a similar amount of people actually watching or seeing the same content now to underline all of this you have to use reddit it's really important it's really useful it doesn't matter what you do and what kind of content you actually provide for example you have an indie game you're developing reddit is important you're a streamer with a mixer or a Twitch stream. Reddit is important. <laughs> you create tutorials, uh, tutorial videos. You have a website that's based on content creation where you follow the daily news from the gaming industry. It doesn't matter. 
in any case reddit is super duper important you need to use it if you're into gaming and you create content of any kind reddit is a place you have to be it's where all the cool kids who get clicks on their links are located and you have to be there as well but this is the main thing i wanted to talk to you about 10 minutes <laughs> 10 minutes into the pro- podcast uh, it's the problem of using and misusing reddit a lot of people get that they, they do need to use reddit but they do it in a wrong way i'm going to explain how many people kind of uh, approach reddit with an, uh, uh, a wrong agenda and end up with nothing so that is that that approach in my view is based on the idea of you as a content creator using reddit to make your own subreddit for example i have a youtube channel about um call of duty i play call of duty games old games new games it's all about call of duty i'm called john i create a subreddit that's called john's cod that sounds wrong it sounds like some kind of an illness <laughs> john's ptsd no it, 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 it doesn't matter how it's called let's say it's just your subreddit and i make a subreddit where i want, want to make my community on reddit based around call of duty there are plenty of people playing call of duty call of duty is popular on reddit like anything else but i decide to use that to make my own hub which i can do as a user anyone can make their subreddit about whatever i make my own hub where i want to uh, attract people who are interested in call of duty and then kind of uh, sell, undersell them uh, my videos and my youtube channel as well that's a wrong approach do not make your subreddits i mean if you have a lot of time do it but don't expect to get anything it's really hard to make a community on reddit which is based around something you're promoting as its owner otherwise everyone would have a subreddit it would be successful and they would get a lot of links and job done it doesn't work like that you will will have a hard time getting people to visit post on that community do anything even if they're huge call of duty fans even if they like your videos there isn't enough um, material there to create an actual reddit sub community on its own the same goes for games as well if you're example an indie game developer and you're creating a game you have some kind of a title with a, a prototype or something they can play let's say a really nice demo creating your subreddit is something again you should do have have a lot of time and you want to cover that small base as well but you will not get anything from it most likely because people will not sign up to the community that still has really little to offer in terms of content if you have a successful game or a game that has potential to be played by millions or thousands or hundreds or whatever sure make it people you might get a dozen or two thousand people once they start playing but before that it's a waste of time in my view it's something you create you see nobody come and you see nobody sign up nobody join that community or a few people do and they never show up to comment or post or whatever you're wasting time and you're getting nothing in return that's a really common scenario because people like to have things they like to have something they create and they have their own piece of reddit and that's cool that's a understandable impulse but it's not something that provides you with the thing you actually want which is eyeballs you want people to check out your content watch it uh, sign up to things uh, continue following your game uh, subscribe to your channel uh, visit your website click basically click on any link you're leaving there and go to some other location you get that by engaging with existing subreddits this is a key thing you need to start using reddit as a user not a content creator who creates his own or her or whatever pronoun small piece of reddit that is a waste of time and it's basically using a bazooka to hit somebody over the head with to hit somebody over the head did i say that wrong anyway 
it's like uh, you're misusing. That's the why the title is misusing Reddit of the podcast. You're misusing Reddit. You're using it below its potential and in, in a way that might be useful to you when you have a huge product where you're a super popular content creator with thousands and thousands of subscribers or followers, and then you can create a sub community on subreddit but there's plenty of time to do that the same goes for games you get a popular game sure go ahead and create a subreddit get some engagement from there as well but before you get any of that and i'm guessing most of us are on that phase where we're still building or creating or making or pushing something you need to use existing subreddits so it doesn't matter what content you produce there are subreddits for it and you should post there now this is the second big uh, hiccup or a problem that people often um, come across when it comes to Reddit and is posting on existing sub forums, it's uh, subreddits. It's the idea of uh, being afraid of becoming a spammer or being seen as a spammer. So there are a lot of communities on Reddit have really clear guidelines. You have the 10% rule, which basically says that you should uh, post 90% of uh, neutral content, informational or whatever, and only 10% of your posting content should be self-promotional. That's fine. There are other uh, communities that, for example, forbid any kind of linking in the posts and yada yada yada. They all have their own rules. You should check out those rules and you should follow them. But at the same time, there are plenty of communities that don't ask for anything of similar. They allow you to basically spam but even you shouldn't spam in the classical sense of the world they, they allow you to promote your content but the bigger communities which are better moderated will also allow you to promote your content in special kind of a uh, special rule set you can figure out that rule set and use it to promote promote your stuff for example you have an android game there is a subreddit android gaming with thousands of followers now you shouldn't post you can post as a game developer whatever you like your game there but for example if you're creating a, a content for games on android you can find the subreddit for that particular game and post your video there Usually those content, that content is downloaded quickly because people are, yeah, they like to download. And you'll come across this all of the time. People will download your stuff. Sometimes you won't get the rules right and moderators will delete or ban you even from some subreddits because of quote-unquote spamming. Don't worry about this. Engage with the communities normally because you're already interested in all that stuff. Communicate with people, leave comments, don't just leave your content. But from time to time, promote your content. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyone who says hey, there's something wrong or who's quoting those rules like no promo, blah, 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 no promotion, can do that. Bless them, power to them. They should keep on doing that until the rest of their happy lives. But your interest is to share the thing you're creating and thing you're enjoying and your love like your professional love, <laughs> not your personal love you're sharing. Don't share pictures of your loved ones if you're not into that and they're not it especially if they're not into that and you're into that um, but share the things you're passionate about you're creating you want to provide to others now don't push it don't get yourself banned from everywhere all at once but engage with the communities and where you find also a lot of communities have like this weekly sticky topics where anyone can leave links of whatever use those as well they can get a lot less engagement than viral posts for example but they're still useful you need to be consistent you won't get quick results but if you search reddit find the targeted communities start following them figure out how they promote how they work how people promote things and everything else engage all different kinds of content not just your own and slowly start sharing your stuff as well in a natural manner that's not spamming anyone who says it's spamming should stop watching television use internet or do anything else because if that's spamming everything is spamming including reddit itself so my advice would be to for 
now, like when you start using those communities, steer clear of paid ads. Steer clear of, clear of paying ads on subreddit communities, even if they're really close to your niche. Just promote organically. See how things go. You won't go viral. You're not chasing that viral post where you leave your Let's Play video of, I don't know, Apex Legends and somebody gives it a 10,000 uh, up likes and upvotes and you get a million views. That won't happen. Forget about that. It's not the thing you're after. The thing you're after is consistency and continuity. Basically and ultimately, Reddit is another important means of getting discovered. It's another tool that you need to have in your toolbox if you're into gaming and any kind of content creation. Use it as a tool, first slowly and cautiously, then with more effort you invest, with more knowledge you gain, you will be able to use it on a higher level with more results, but use it. Don't create your subreddits, use existing subreddits, be consistent about them and they will provide you with results. First on a small scale, but they will slowly grow and grow and you'll get plenty of useful things from that. So the misuse of Reddit is basically creating your subreddits and the right use of Reddit is engaging with existing communities to share and expand your reach, to share your content and expand the reach. That's basically it. That's what I wanted to talk to you about in this episode. Thank you so much for listening. I'm hoping some of you were here on the premiere and you left some comments in the chat box. If not, leave the comments in the description box. Uh, in the no, Leave the comments below the description, like regular YouTube comments. Of course, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. If you have that bu bu one buck, I'd love to see it in my... Um, in my account, <laughs> on my page, so to consider supporting me, uh, it would be really a lot. It would mean a lot to me uh, and for my continued effort in this domain. That's all. Uh, we're done with episode 5 of I'm Gaming Podcast and I hope I'll see you on episode 6. Until then, my name is Ivica and I bid you farewell. <laughs>